Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is just a quick little, like, I don't know, project shares, maybe if even that. But I've been working on some um, thank yous, racks, stuff like that. And I'm kind of just showing, I layered a bunch of different ephemera. Somebody gifted me this little Maggie Holmes flower. Oh, I love that flower. Um, and then I actually got around to using that Tuesday morning Gable style box. Um, I only have regular 60 pound weight cardstock. I definitely would use 110 pound just so when they're unlatching it, it doesn't break. Decorated it in Maggie Holmes' Sweet Story. I find it really hard to use like these acetate frames and stuff. Um, but I did some stitching, these gorgeous flowers from Lori who's creating for fun. Used one of those die cuts of that flower with that uh, Sizzix die, oh, so pretty. It's a little Polaroid piece, did some stitching uh, just on the front and the back. I used a six by eight paper pad and it fit perfect right here. You are my wish come true. I don't know what I'm gonna stick in there yet. Once I get home, I'll fill it with goodies either on hand or you know, I can make bows and stuff. And look at this box, which is perfect. It's like a little top loading style pizza box. The biggest risk in life is not risking at all. These are actually from a pair of leggings that I bought, but I was like, oh, I love these style boxes, but I, I never end up using them because they're not very thick and everything I've been making like has 3D stuff. So literally this fits because look, the flower flattens out a little bit and it doesn't, and it doesn't ruin it. So I can just shove it shut in here so that's gonna go in there that's gonna go in there some of the beads i need to add a pom-pom when i get home because it's super cute you guys saw me packaging up um some of the little embellishment rosettes that i did so that's gonna go in there and then look how tiny cute these are you guys these are like literally the size of quarters super layered usually uh, and the flower these are all those no dyes I got they're all just layered up on top of each other and then I had to try to stitch those and I literally almost sewed my finger off so I only got to stitch straight across right there and I sewed these tiny little ephemeras um, from Debbie Love I will link her down below super cute and then reusing the packaging usually I just toss this stuff um, sometimes I'm just like in a frenzy like emptying it that I just toss it and I forget to save it and use it because I've been seeing you know everybody reuse it and stick their embellishments in there and I think it just looks so cute like what if these were real same with this one I just did one of those little tassels and then I did um I used a needle and thread I can't even see oh kind of right there and stitched like a little circle I guess like stitched a hole so that I could do my little clip of my tassels on there the little wire wrapping beads I was working on that have the little sequins on them so so cute sweet and I stuck confetti in here it looked too like plain I don't know it just looked funny so I threw some confetti in there to like make it look fancier I guess <laughs> but I love using the packaging now like I feel like I'm gonna do that on everything and then here's a card from my friend and then also here is these are some Prima flowers. I literally left them in the packaging, but the packaging was smaller than this Maggie Holmes um, carousel packaging. So I stuck it, I just taped it to the back and then covered the top of it with this little piece, added a little butterfly embellishment from one of my giveaways, uh, giveaway challenges. And I think that looks super cute. Again, using like a front loading style box. This is another one I was working on. And then of course, <sighs> the struggle who else packages up stuff and then realizes they forgot to take pictures um video share everything i always do that so yeah just a quick little saying hi guys Whew. and i will catch you guys on the next crafty video bye guys